We're walking around with the cops trying to document all the damage and we're actually looking for any surfaces that they've touched that we can pull some fingerprints off of and we can get this guy. To get into what we're talking about here, we caught the guy that's been robbing us. That's right, we got him. I think we have eight vehicles stolen. If someone's dealt with this before, you know, maybe how you've done it. Don't tell me you killed the guy and buried him. I already know I can do that. I just can't get away with it. Yes, that's right. I said it. If I could get away with it, I would do it. All right, guys. Still at the McKinley headquarters. Um, we have a very interesting story that's coming to closure. Unfortunately, it's taken a year for this to happen, and I really don't think it's over all the way. To get into what we're talking about here, we caught the guy that's been robbing us. That's right, we got him. Um, sad things about it, he was an old employee that worked for him for two years, got on drugs. He was recommended by another excavating company. He came to work for me, did great for two years, was young and eager, got the bad crowd, some of his cousins started doing dope. And next thing you know, his performance was low, he failed a drug test, had to get him out of here, we don't tolerate that. That's zero tolerance policy in our company. And um, yeah, he decided that I guess he was going to rob me first get a job. And um, I think we have eight vehicles stolen. Uh, we'll go over this, you know, a little bit more, some photos. We've got, start out with a crew truck and all the tools. Uh, we got it back, tore up. He stole one of my employees' F-250 King Ranches. I donated to him. Uh, burned the tires off of it, four-wheel drive, ripped the bumper off of it, left it abandoned in the parking lot. He then stole a race car next to my helicopter here at the office, so I had to move the helicopter to the farm to the 60 by 60 hangar. So that even though that's a great positive space, it was half created because the liability of having a helicopter here with people breaking in and robbing me, I was like, man, if they touch this thing, they're gonna kill me. I mean, we're all gonna know there's something wrong with it. I was like, I can't afford to have someone breaking in to where the aviation assets are. They stole the race car, took the stickers off. We found it next to his stepfather, I'm sorry, his real father's um, apartment. Got a confession from his stepfather, from his mother. Found the steering wheel in his house. His mother found it, um, and the officers would not do anything about it. I had to go get it back, and I had to be a witness. I was like, they said we didn't have enough for a warrant. They said he was already in jail in another theft charge so why would I even bother doing what I was doing because he already got caught then he got out of jail and it started again and so he's since uh, the last two months we've lost um, an F-450 that was found and abandoned in a field the windows busted vandalized no keys well about Christmas time we had a truck stolen from us and uh, I think it was a week went by and I believe on Monday, somebody texted the, our group chat, or actually, what was it, Jason, a farmer called? Yeah, the guy the landowner that owns it. Yeah. He called the store, said he found us a truck, and sure enough, here it is. That is crazy. So we're here to get it back? Yep. Stealing it back. Oh, yeah. So we bring the 304 Mini X just in case we need to dig it out or pull it out or anything. The truck was about a couple hundred yards into the woods, but you couldn't really see it from the road. Once we get there, we look at the truck, notice it's pretty beat up, but it doesn't look like it's totaled. We had to call Ricks to come get a key made because we also did not have a spare key. So as they worked on the key, we went around and explored a little bit. Finally was able to get the truck rolling. So, oh yeah. yeah. She's running. So what we got going on here, Brandon? Mud bogging. Mud bogging.
Think we're able to get it out, Cuddy? Oh, yeah. If not, we got the mini. Yeah, easy. So what's the game plan now? Now we're gonna get a mini X. <laughs> Damn it, boy. Go get go get a bigger toy. Hey, right, just sit tight, we'll get that mini X, we'll get it out. I'll jump in, we'll pull it out of here. fairly new. I wonder if we can get any information off that. Good work, Coco. Did Joe's camera get them on coming uh, in? We're, uh, I'm waiting on Rebecca to get here to pull the footage, and then Joe's on his way too. So hopefully so. But we are uh, we're doing a thorough inventory, walking around with the cops, trying to document all the damage. And we're actually looking for any surfaces that they've touched that we can pull some fingerprints off of, and we can get this guy. On and off one, it's hard to shut up, not touching the glass. Okay. I mean, very hard. Like, I mean, not, somewhere on that glass, that handle might be something. Is that mirror bus? They had it going. Oh, oh, there it is. Well, I'm Joe. I'm Joe. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you're cold. Yeah, she's cold. Um, so I'll go try to pull the cameras in the other uh, in the other building. They can't pull those. Okay. We find anything with Rebecca yet on the interior cameras? Mm -hmm. She's not here. She's not here. I'll just wait on her show. Alright. Happens. Yeah. Um, Alright, well, let me go in there and try to fire those cameras up. I'll do that first. And then let's uh, go from there. Yeah. Well, the problem is this camera doesn't do a real good job catching them. That camera right there. So they did go into the room and get one for a piece of that. Well, they took the 550 keys. I trust you didn't think you know. Right. Here you go. <laughs> from what from what are all telling me? Yeah. But then they go and don't take the Mac key. He destroyed our mini Mac um, by taking all of the electronics off and trying to hotwire it. Even though he was in the key box at the same time getting the key to the F550 in the building, he just didn't take that key. He, fried all the ECMs in it 
And so now we can't even rebuild it without doing all new electrical system. I don't want you to have cameras everywhere you like. Maybe the camera's out. Yeah, should have. I told Sarah password for these things last time. I know she ain't gonna remember. So the cops seem to think that even without the app, we need to call Ford or Ford may be able to ping them. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna ask you what the VIN number was. Um, yeah, so I got the VIN number. Um, so actually, oh, your police department would need to call us. So I have them here. So I have them here with me. Now one second and I will be in the room with them. It's been a warning. Well yeah, you know, there is there is a police case. There's it's not involving a minor, but they they've stolen multiple like almost half a million dollars worth of trucks and stuff from this place. So um <laughs> We're we're trying to we're trying to locate them as quick as possible so before they put them on a ship and ship them to Asia or something. Not to mention the liability of a company vehicle running around. I mean, you know, they burn one. It's like, like if we get a bad operator, like, oh, oh shit, I'm not used to a big German shepherd. Don't shoot my dog, okay? So that'll make my name bad. We have those, and when they come running, it's a different story. It's a big baby. I, I really thought that, which my camera let me down, but I really thought, not this one, another one, that for some reason, I have everything but my truck leading on the camera. Um, we really thought we could catch them. Last time we called you guys, we, we had a guy walking in the property, and we called, and there was like five guys here. You know? Yeah, we caught him. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> so it's like, you know, we really thought that this wouldn't happen this way. Yeah. But the problem that we're he having, really like, then he went to oh, jail for some oh, other oh, problem, yeah. And they're like, well, he's in jail. Like, well, that's, he's going to come back. So now he's been out of jail for two months. Now it starts again. No, I just got here. <laughs> so it's, my problem is we're just not having a lot. You know. All right, well, let's get y'all out making some money. All right, guys, appreciate y'all's help. Make sure you get it. I appreciate it. So I just got word from Joe that they found our McKinley truck that was stolen, I believe, last week. Somewhere down in Jasper. Here's the pictures of it. That is crazy. I can't believe they found it. Right? A fisherman found it. He said it's down on some old four-wheeler trail. So I believe a little bit later this evening, me and Austin will load up, take a mini X with us, and uh, try and go get our truck back. Oh, yeah. You know I'm there, baby. Oh, yeah. That's going to be sweet. <laughs> Give it to us, give it to us. So what do y'all think? How long do you think it'll take us to pull that out? Let's, let's get there first and then y'all can be the judge. Yeah, no, hold on. Let, let's have a time estimate. Someone tell me what time is it now? It is 4.11. What time do you think we are leaving Jasper with the truck? We're about 7. About 7? <laughs> about 7. Damn it, boy. Well, the kids on the tow truck. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about pulling around out. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Pull it off, you're gonna die. <laughs> well guys, this is gonna be fun. Gonna be by now they're probably out there at the wood naked right now looking at us laughing at us <laughs> send him a couple warning shots you know good do it just for joe ready 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 that's pretty loud put that on you too <laughs> i mean i think it's driving Okay. Uh, and then you can give him the credit card or call me, call Brad, we'll give him the credit card, oh. the credit card if it's easy. And then did your key fit in that locked ignition? Oh, 
Uh, no, I haven't checked that yet. It's pretty good. You good, Austin? I think it just broke my ankle. You think you broke it or strained it? Or sprained yeah, I it? I think I broke it. That son of a bitch cracked four times. Uh, but, uh, so thank you, guys. Yeah, no problem. If you have any trouble, let me know if you need a credit card or anything for the, uh, for the tow bill haul around me. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Cody. Appreciate it. Yep. So Austin might have f***ed up his ankle for real. Where'd he go? Sitting down in the back. You down for the count? I think we can find a ratchet strap and a couple sticks. All right, so the key works, but it doesn't work. We've got movement in the <laughs> steering wheel. We need to be able to get it in the neutral. All right, well. Pull it together, Austin. We got shit to do. Yep. Yep. towing company but they're gonna send somebody so we're in a little bit of a rush to get this thing out so let's see if we can do it baby they got that thing jammed up against a tree Broke right out of the motherfucker. You said on the record. Off the record. Off the record, okay. I'm sorry, the person you want So give us an update on what's happened. So right now, the 309, while he was trying to get up and around it to get this front end moved out from this tree that's right behind me. Don't know if you can see it, probably. Yeah, cool. Um, as he was going up, he, he didn't have nothing. It wasn't hung on nothing. It, the line just snapped, fitting and all came out. Hey, we tried to move it down the hill a little bit so it ain't up at an angle like that and it just started spraying like Niagara Falls. So, we're just gonna hit it hard tomorrow, pray to God. Bring some tools, fitting. Fit. Hydraulic fluid, actually we might have some right here. Yeah, we got some. Boom. Yeah, we got enough. Minor comeback. Or a minor setback for a major comeback, baby. Yeah. This is not how this was supposed to go. Not at all. Easy, easy go and grab. Now, it's like a kid's playhouse in here. Everything's just messed up. And you messed up the ankle on top of that? Probably broke the whole cankle here. I ain't gonna lie, I probably did. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. See what the doc says tonight. Cause I ain't waiting on a tow truck for his ass. He can wait on a tow truck. Yeah. So what are we doing? Oh, we're gonna get this 550 unstuck. So couldn't pull it from the back, so I had to make my own little way around, be able to swing the front over, and uh, gonna try and give him a little nudge or pull him forward. That way I can go back around them and he can, you know, swerve around the roads.
Hey, put yeah, put the blade down. How'd you guys catch him? Yeah, so he robbed a dump truck and brought it here. And we didn't know what he was doing here, but he went to our fuel farm and was filling up this dump truck that he robbed. And so we found that dump truck in our truck. It got some fingerprints. They didn't even come back yet. And Stowers Machinery, where we buy all of our cat equipment right next door to us, had a truck stolen. What well, 4.30 in the morning, he drove it here to fill it up with fuel. Then he came back later in the day after he took all the fuel and came back in it. So the cops didn't catch him the first time, they didn't get here quick enough. The next time, myself and the cops got here quick enough and we caught him. So um, they wouldn't let me talk to them. They're not gonna do much about it, guys. Chattanooga is so weak on theft. I'm sorry, if you're an officer in Chattanooga watching this, I love you. But our crime penalty system is lacking some grit to it. We're turning into California where you know, we, we say it's okay to, to steal because we don't have room for them in the jail. But, you know, these are businesses that I mean, we're at like $800,000 in loss. Our insurance isn't paying for it. They're denying the claims. They're never going to give me the money back. And this guy's been able to scrap and steal our tools that our employees make their living with for the last year. So um, we have these rechargeable batteries. We kept a lot of cameras on the property. We have cameras everywhere but the cameras were not getting good enough pictures for the police officers to do anything about them. So I took all of my hunting cameras out of the woods, brought them here and staged them all over. I mean, I had them in the building, I had them at the gate. So I could see cars pulling up at the gate, it would text me at night, then I'd see them in the building and it would text me, and then I would see them, you know, all around the property and all the different buildings. And uh, we finally just got here quick enough to catch them. Since our system protects the criminal, not the victim. We had to just wait for it to work and wait for the right officer that wanted to help. And we finally got a good group of young officers that were aggressive and that responded timely and took it seriously. And they uh, they got him. So he is in jail right now and he'll be out on bond. I thought about bonding him out myself just to get my conversation. Like if I showed up, paid his bond, put him in the truck with me, would they even let me leave with him? Could we make it around the block and have a you know good old one-on-one -on -one conversation? But uh, you know I got two little boys, one on the way. I can't risk my family not having me just to be able to, to have that conversation. So hopefully we get some rest. We've really been beat down, and really tired. The severity of these crimes has increased. We're not sleeping good, but we really think now we're gonna get some peace and be able to uh, rest at night. So hope you enjoy a little bit about what happened. Hope he breaks this long thing up so you don't have to listen to me rant for five minutes. But I really think you're going to enjoy some of the videos. Uh, it's a terrible loss for us. But hey, there's a victory at the end and we didn't die on the hill. So thanks for watching this. Thanks for the struggles. Thanks for having fun with us. Thanks for the support for us. Hope it continues to grow. We're committed to giving you content. Even though we're staying small, we hope you enjoy it. Thanks for everything you do. Y'all be good.